What up, everyone? We've got Super Geek Box here. So, I'm so excited this box finally came. Because this box has been recommended to me, uh, let me see, uh, a million times. So, I'm still getting comments and messages to this day, like every day, like, hey, try out Super Geek Box, blah, blah, blah. So, I did, it just, I tried it out, I uh, ordered it a long time ago, it just takes like a full month or so for it to finally show up. So, it's finally here. So, I can stop getting recommendations. And I was pretty excited about this. Um, things to note about this box, it's very, very similar to 1UP Box. And I knew that before I even ordered it. It's almost identical to it. Their size, their box design, their price point, their website, their referral program, like everything about it is just like identical twins. And the reason behind that is because it is an identical twin. Basically, and from what I've heard from the, the stories behind it, 1UP Box was started by two people. They came together and made this company, and they do pretty good at it. Um, somewhere along the line, they started having a difference of opinion and veered off more and more, till eventually they split off. One guy kept 1UP one, one Box, and the other guy wouldn't create it Super Geek Box. Um, whether or not they're still the same company, I don't know that part. I'm still curious about that. They're still affiliated and still under one big umbrella and just doing two different boxes, or if they've officially split off and are two different companies. I kind of think that maybe they're still under one company because, like I said, almost identical. Their website is like, you can put them side by side and see everything is just exactly the same about it. So I can't imagine anyone getting away with that if they're separate companies because they'd be violating all kinds of copyright stuff and coding and different stuff like that. So I, I think they may still be the same company, but I'm not sure about that. But maybe someone else knows. Let me know if you know. Anyway, this box showed up in two boxes. So they had a warning sticker on there, but I couldn't see it because my shipping label covered it. But I got this first one, and it was just a t-shirt. And I'm like, great, like, they made a mistake, I'm going to have to contact them. But no mistake, they just sent it, the label actually says, warning, this comes in two separate boxes. So they gave a warning, I just couldn't see my sticker. So, that, that's cool, like, I, I don't care if it comes in two boxes. I'm not sure why they did, it seems weird, it seems like they're just wasting money on shipping. But, that's their problem, not mine, so whatever. They didn't charge me anything extra, so, I don't mind. Whatever you got to do to get by. Anyway... Let's look at box 1A and see what it has in it. 1A has a t-shirt. And it also had the pin with the theme on it, which was Courage. And the card saying what's in it. So, we got a shirt here. And as you guessed it, it's a crossover. So this is a crossover between Star Wars and The Legend of Zelda. We've got our little Toon Link here, our, our Wind Waker Link, if that's what you like to call it. But this one was actually very well done. I was thoroughly impressed. And something I'm going to mention a few times about this box, it, it's almost identical to 1UP Box. So many things about it are very similar, but it just seems like a little bit better. Like everything about it's the same, but like just one notch a little bit better. And this, this is a perfect example. 1UP um, Box has kind of been known for their crappy t-shirt designs. I shouldn't say crappy. They're not crappy. They're not bad but they're not the best. They do crossovers and they seem very forced a lot of times. I keep bringing up the, the Batman Mario one. It was just like very awkward. This month's one of Box did much better, but this one is great. They did a real good job on the crossover. So um, I, I keep saying a million times like crossovers like so many times like when they force it too much it just comes across awkward and no one likes it. But this one they they did a good job, and the design of it is very nice. So, about 1UP Box, you can tell that they have people design it specifically for them. Either they have someone in the company, or they hire amateur artists and, and take their designs. Because they seem very amateurly done, the way they're drawn, the way they're designed. This seems professionally done. The way they designed it, is, it has a really nice look to it. These thick outlines, 
and this nice ink swatch here, and even the design on top where it says the Triforce. It has that nice metallic look to it, which I know for a fact is more expensive to do on shirts. They usually, when you're printing them, that you, um, when you're printing them yourselves, they charge by color, and things like this little shiny gold is definitely extra. So that's things I noticed that they put a little extra thought into, and it's on his hand as well. But again, this overall design just looks good. They did a good job on it. It's well done. It's proportionate. They did a reasonable crossover, and it didn't look weird. They didn't do a shitty job with their crossover. They did a good job. It looks nice. I was thoroughly impressed by this shirt. Now, they did still put their logo in it. Again, that's totally one-up box. But it's in the corner, it's small, and it's subtle. So, eh, okay. I'd still rather not be there, but I guess that's acceptable. So at least they're putting it small now, not plastering it. But again, very well done. I really like this shirt. I'm totally going to wear this. It's the Gildan Heavy Cotton, so the quality of the shirt is not superb, but it's okay. It'll do. But again, very well done. A very good job at designing the shirt. I was thoroughly impressed and they, whoever designed that, um, I hope it's someone in the company so they design more shirts of that quality. Hopefully that's not just a fluke. But I don't think so because I looked at their website when I first heard about the box and the t-shirt designs they had on there were really cool. Um, I, I saw just the ones they had on there which I'm sure have already gone out in boxes but they were really awesome. I really liked them and they were very well done and they were clever and they were funny like I, whoever's doing it is doing a great job. It's one of the better crossover ones I've seen. So, so far, good job. Excellent job, Super Geek Box, on the shirt. Next, moving on. So, we got the South Park Stick of Truth figure. And I got Cartman, who I wanted. Now, this has been showing up a lot recently. I'm not sure why. I'm, I don't know if Kid Robot had, like, a clearance sale or something like that. But this is the second time we've seen it in, like, a month's period. But, but either way, it's okay, because unlike the pop figures, when you see a duplicate pop, you're not getting the same character. Although we've seen this, this uh, genre before, I got a different character, so I feel like that's okay. It's okay to see this more than once, as long because there's different character options that you can get. So I was okay with that. Last time I got Kyle, this time I got Carmen. So I'm, I'm pretty okay with that, and Carmen's the one I wanted, so I'm keeping this and I'm going to put it on display. So And they pick Kid Robot, which is branded, which is very nice. I totally appreciate that. Next, we got a Dorbs. We got Batman. Classic Batman Dorbs with the black suit. Series 1. Now, I really like this. Now, I said this in my a previous video um, for Power Up Box because um, something you need to be aware of, Dorbs are coming in hot, man. So we're going to see these a lot. Um, everyone's had their fill of Funko Pop. We'll still see them, but I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of Dorbs in the future. Now, I, again, I talked about this before, I personally made a point to not buy any dorbs unless they were exclusive because I knew they were going to show up in boxes and I hate it when I get duplicates because that's a waste of my money. When I like bid on something online or I take, make a trip down to the comic shop to buy something and then it shows up in a box and it's like, that's cool, but it's like, man, like I wasted my time and money. So I purposely didn't buy any dorbs because I knew they would show up, So especially the popular characters. So... I'm personally excited to see this because I went out of my way not to buy any, so when they do show up, now I'm excited. Now I'm happy because I have them and I got them in a box so I didn't have to pay anything extra. So that's great. I really like the Dorbs. I think they're a great series. I just love the style. They're just, they're just, they're adorable. Like, that's what they're named after. They're Dorbs. They're adorable. How could you not like that? He's got his goofy little smile on there. Like, how could you not like that? Anyway... A great character, classic Batman, black suit. Um, they also have the Batman in the blue suit, so uh, hopefully that'll show up too. But I'm going to give boxes some time and throw all the dorbs out there. And once they've cycled through Series 1, any of them that I don't have, then I'll go back and collect them because then I won't be getting duplicates. So I recommend that everyone does the same I'm doing. Don't spend any money on dorbs yet. Wait for them to show up in boxes and then collect the series later. So I'm glad I made that choice because I'm very happy to see this. And I love Batman. I think this is a great character. Keeping it. Love it. Good choice. So from here on out, out it's just some filler stuff. Just some quick items. Um, here we got a key topper. Again, classic one-up box. They're always doing the same thing, key toppers. But 
my geek or sorry super geek box like I said same thing just a step up because they're putting branded stuff uh, one of box did that for a while too where they put key towers but they put their logo all over it they plastered the logo on everything and I, I didn't like it I hated it and I'm pretty sure other people said the same so same thing but branded this is the bravest warrior cat book so that's cool this is good filler I like this it's branded it's useful it's good quality I like that that's good filler that's what I appreciate um, some other filler air freshener again classic one on box they do the same thing always I never mind this um, my room my car everything about me smells like shit I smell like a big bag of asses all the time so I never mind air fresheners and they're displayable so every time the boxes of the month come in I take out the old air fresheners and put the new ones on and they're just cool they'll hang in my rear view mirror on my doorknob off my underwear to cover my ass smell like whatever I want to put them on I put them on and they smell nice and they're cool to display so again just filler but I like them I think they're useful for the general stinky nerdy person I think that's okay next we got some Dragon Ball Z Chromium cards. This has showed up in a box before. This was in Geek Me Box months back. I love Dragon Ball. Um, nothing particularly amazing about these cards, but they're cool. I'll take that. Like, why not? Dragon Ball Z Chromium cards. Awesome. I'll take it. All right. So our last item in the box. Again, some more filler, but candy. So I'm never upset to see candy. Who doesn't like candy? And it comes in this fun little tin, which I like too, because after you eat the candy, you can keep the tin. You can store your drugs in it, or you can put it on display. Put it on a nice little shelf, and they'll just hang out there. Now this is the original Link from Legend of Zelda, the Nintendo series, and he's the little 8-bit character. And inside, you get some lovely candy. Again, 8-bit, and it looks like his little sword that he has. So, oh my sweet lord, let's try these little bastards out and see how they taste. They don't smell like anything. They don't really taste like anything either. They have like a, a very mild orange taste. It tastes good. It's candy. And they have a fun little shape. I'll try to put a picture at the end, but yeah. It's basically his little 8-bit sword. Cool. Who doesn't love some candy? I'll take it. Sweet. So yeah, Legend of Zelda tin with some candy. Again, classic one up box. They're always putting tins in with the candy. That's why I was saying I find it, I'm pretty sure they're still under the same company because they're just so similar. But I could be wrong. Anyway, let's go through this box again and talk about some value. So first, box one, box one A, we got our t-shirt. And I, I loved it. I, this is one of my like shirts I've liked more than any of them. It looks so professionally done. It wasn't professionally done because it was printed themselves, but it really looks like it. It shows the professionalism in it. Everything is clean. The lines are clean cut. The design is well, like I said, it's proportionate. The colors match well. They got the nice gold thing and they they lead it back to the hand where there's some gold there too. Like, they really did a good job. I hope, again, this isn't a fluke and a one-time thing. I hope this is a constant thing of like good quality shirts. From what I saw from the site, it is. So, fingers crossed, they keep up with the good designs. I, I really liked it, they did a great job. So, but that still gets the standard 12 to 15, no matter how awesome the design is. Still 12 to 15 because they printed it themselves, but that's okay. Next, our Dorbs figure. Um, these vary in price depending on where you get them. They're right around 10 though. If you can find them in the store, um, they've been selling out a lot lately, but I'm sure they're going to make a resurgence. They're not rare at all. They're going to be very easy to find, I promise you. So if you can find them in a comic store, you can, they might sell them as cheap as like 8 or 9 but if you're buying them on eBay, they're usually like 11 or 12 So right around the $10 range, same as Pop Figures. So right around 10 bucks for that. Next, we got our South Park figure. So again, same thing on this. These are right around 10 um, I've seen these in comic stores for like 12 50 and stuff like that, but 
you can find them online for right around ten bucks, uh, give or take a buck or two, but again, right around the ten dollar range. I like the figure, I thought that was a good choice. Next, our key topper. Branded, which I appreciate. I like boxes that don't put their logo on everything because we hate it. So, good choice. Branded. Cat bug. Three to five bucks. Nothing super special about it. But I think key toppers are around that, again, depending on where you buy them. Not hard to find. Cheap items. Three to five. Reasonable price. Next, our air freshener. These are like two or three bucks. Um, I, if they were at, if you can find them in stores, like a common store, like Target or something, I could see this going for like a buck. But I don't think these are very common. If they were in a comic store, they'd overcharge for it, but you can find them online. Like eBay, people sell them for like two or three dollars with free shipping. Like, they're just not hard to get. They're very common. There's nothing rare about it. But it's useful though. But two to three bucks around there is, I think, is a reasonable price. Then our last item, the cards. Just a buck or two. Um, if you went to a comic store, if they still had them, they, they look they, they look like an older series. Yeah, they're from 2000, so they may be hard to find, but even when you do, they're not going to be expensive. Like, I couldn't see it going for more than a buck or two. Maybe three, depending on where you bought it, but still cool. Um, I love Dragon Ball Z, and if I find any cards in here I really like, I'll turn them into magnets and then put them on my fridge. So, that's cool. Some cards. So, with all of that in mind, on the low end, we got a $40 value. On the high end, we got $48. Now, I need to talk about the value here. I'm going to go on a little tangent. Let me hydrate myself. All right. Time for a beer tangent. So, the value on this box. Everyone keeps telling me it's the cheapest box out there. It's cheaper, cheaper, cheaper um, than one up box. It is officially 50 cents cheaper on their website. So their website shows 50 cents cheaper than one a box because I think they're trying to be competitive. Now, there is underlying cost here that I need to talk about. Um, so for the average person, you're paying around the same as one a box, technically 50 cents cheaper. The first month is discounted, then after that you pay the normal price. But it's around 18. One a box is the same. If you signed up early with one of box like me, you got it for a cheaper price, but this box is starting out at around $18. Now, here's where it gets tricky. It's not the same price for everyone. It is different for different people. Here's why. So depending on what state you live in, there are certain tax laws in order. I only know mine for California, but it varies from state to state. This company is going to charge additionally for tax which is a huge bummer. I was so bummed out about that because there's nothing I hate more than when you sign up for a box, you're totally ready to pay the price, it looks like it's worth it, and then you get to check out and you're like, oh wait, it's more than it said it was. Now, it's not their fault, they didn't invent taxes or anything, but it is their choice. Now, they choose to charge additionally for taxes so they don't have to pay for it. In California, we have to pay, I think it's 9%, a little above, a little above 9% for taxes. That's California state law. Now other states, most states don't have that, but some do. So now it's going to be different prices. Here's the part that kind of sucks about it though. One up box, here's why I'll give one up box credit because they don't charge extra for tax. Uh, they can, it's not that they don't have to pay tax, everyone has to pay tax. It's law. Everyone has to. There's nothing they can do about it. But um, they don't have to charge extra for it. That's the choice of the company. They don't have to charge extra for it. They can just take the hit. I, me and my personal opinion, I don't think I should have to pay for that. Not that I don't have to, shouldn't have to pay for taxes. I don't think I should have to pay extra because it's six dollars shipping for everyone. Doesn't matter where you live. This company is based out of L.A. L.A. is right next to San Diego. So this is from Alhambra. So I, I went there recently, that's where I bought my car from. It's about two hours away. So it seems unfair that me living two hours away pays six dollars and someone living in Maine or New York pays six dollars as well. It's traveling across the United States. It seems weird that I have to pay the same price for that. So that's why One Up Box doesn't charge extra for California state tax because they probably have to pay less for shipping, so it kind of equates and evens out. 
So, it seemed unfair that I had to pay extra for tax when I'm so close and they probably save on shipping. But that's just my personal opinion. I hope they do work around that and do adjust it for people in California or people close by. Um, so I hope they do adjust that eventually because then they will be the cheapest box and then it will change. Again, sorry for the tangent. So after taxes, I'm paying about $20 for this box, which is almost the same as Loot Crate. That's th th So they're competing with that now. Now they're no longer the cheapest box. Um, one a box, I'm only paying 15 for because I got it a long time ago. But new people are paying 18 no matter where you live. If you're in California or one of the other states that does have to pay taxes, you're paying more. You're paying close to 20. So I'm, I have to take that into account when I'm giving this box a rating because, again, I'm trying to rate it for everyone. So that being said, again, sorry for the tangent, but I needed to talk about that because it is important and has to do with this value. That being said, I'm still giving this box an 8 out of 10, which so far has been the highest rating I've given this month. Because, honestly, I think they did a great job. I think they deserved it. With 40 on the low end and 48 on the high end, even with my $20 payment, even with the extra on shipping and taxes, you're still getting double. And good quality double. Not crap that they put in, that they put their logo all over. It's branded stuff. It's a branded key topper. It's branded stuff. It's cards. It's... It's the doors was of a of a well known character. The shirt was very well done. It was very well designed. It's showing thought put into it. So it's almost identical to One Up Box, but I feel like they're doing it a little bit better. No offense to One Up Box, they they're great too, but I just feel like they did a little bit better. Anyway, so the reason it didn't get higher than an eight was for the reasons I said, because some people do have to pay more, and I don't think they should have to. I think they should adjust it like 1UP Box does. So that's why it didn't get a, a higher rating. It wouldn't have gotten much higher. I'd say like it probably would have gotten like an 825, like maybe an 8.5, maybe. But So the score went down a tiny bit to adjust for that, but not much. This still got a really good score, and I really like this box. And personally, I've only gotten one, and I think I would recommend it. It's a new company, but it's not a new company. This, they've been around the block because they worked with 1UP Box. So, for their, I think this is their second box, maybe their third. I think they're doing great. I, I was pleasantly surprised by it. I enjoyed the things in this box. You got good items. You got a shirt and two major items and then some filler. Versus uh, just a shirt, maybe one item in filler. So, they're doing great. I hope they keep this momentum and keep it up. I hope they keep it up with the great shirt design. So, I would totally recommend this box. For only the, for one of the lowest price boxes out there that you're pretty much guaranteed double and good quality stuff like that's fantastic. If they can adjust for the taxes, the score is definitely going to go up. But an eight out of ten is still pretty damn good as compared to the other boxes. So so far the month of June has been fantastic. Let me know what you guys thought about the box and the score and the situation on taxes. Weigh in, give me your opinions. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Love you all. Peace.